Good day viewers, you are welcome. Let's see how we can provide solution to this algebra problem. We have a to the power of root a equals square root of a raised to power a. So we need to provide all the solutions that satisfy this. So let's try to consider the solution from here. So we are giving a raised to power of a. This equals square root here, we change it to a raised to power a, then all raised to power 1 over 2. So we know root is just like power of 1 over 2. Then from here, we have to multiply a by 1 over 2, and we have a raised to power of square root of a equals a raised to power a times 1, that is a divided by divided by 2. And next, suppose we introduce log on both sides. So because if we cancel A and A here, we are not getting the old solution as intended. So we have to leave this one as it is. Then we introduce log on both sides. So by introducing logarithm, we have this as log, or let me just call it ln. So A raised to the power of square root of a equals ln a raised to power a divided by 2. And by properties of log, suppose we have ln p raised to power n, this equals n multiplied by ln p. So we consider this rule and we apply it here. So for this to become square root of a multiplied by ln a equals a divided by 2 multiplied by ln a. So here we can still not cancel ln a. So what we do here is, let's take the whole of this to this side. Then we have this as square root of a multiplied by ln a minus a divided by 2 multiply by ln a and this equals 0 and from what we have here we have ln a which is common to them so we factor out ln a and in the bracket so when we divide both sides by ln a we are left with square root of a minus also when we divide both sides by ln a we are left with a divided by 2 and this equals 0 so, by what we have here, if we want to make the whole of this expression equals to 0, it means that we are going to let ln a here equals to 0, or we have square root of a minus a divided by 2, everything equals 0. So, if these are the two cases that we have here, so to get a here, we know that we are going to introduce exponential to both sides. So introducing e here, what we have here is e raised to the power of ln a equals e raised to the power of zero. So and this implies that when e and ln cancels, both are inverse to each other. We have a equals and e raised to the power zero, so it is equals one. Therefore, the first values of a is a equals to one as it implies and also to get the other values we have to consider from square root of a minus a divided by 2 equals 0 then let's transfer a over 2 to other side we have this as root a equals a divided by divided by 2 and by this let's take the square of both sides so by squaring both sides, we know that this square and square root cancelled. Then we have this as a equals. So by rule of exponent, it means a we take square and 2 we also take square. So with this, we have a squared divided by 2 squared. So here we have a equals a squared. It still remains as a squared divided by 2 squared, that is 4. Then, when we cross multiplied, we multiply this with this. 
So we have this as 4a equals a raised to the power of 2. So with what we have here, 4a equals to a raised to the power of 2, let's try to collect 4a to this side. Then we have, so we have a squared minus 4a equals 0. Then we factor out a from here. So by factoring out a, a becomes a minus 4. And this equals 0. So from this expression now, we can have our a here equals to 0. And we have our a here equals 4. So these are the only two values we get here for this one to be equals to 0. And don't forget that initially we get our a here equals 1. So we have three roots here, which are three solutions. But we have to verify which of these equals to each other. So let's see to check. From the given questions, we have a raised to the power of square root of a equals the square root of a raised to the power of a. So let's start from the first one we get, which is a equals to 1. When we substitute it, we have 1 raised to the power square root of 1 equals the square root of 1 raised to the power 1. And by this, we have 1 raised to the power square root of 1, that is 1, equals, and here is 1 raised to the power 1, that is still 1, then we put it in root. So 1 raised to the power 1, that is 1, and 1 equals square root of 1, that is 1. So this shows that at a equals to 1, satisfy these solutions. And also, when we call from here, so we try to substitute at a equals to 4. When we put a equals 4, we have 4 raised to the power square root of 4 equals the square root of 4 raised to the power of 4. So with this one, we have this as 4 raised to the power square root of 4, that is 2, equals, and here, we consider this as the 4 raised to the power of 4, then multiply by 1 over 2. Okay? So, with this one, we can see that 2 cancel 2, and we have 2 here. So, here we come, 4 raised to the power 2 equals 4 raised to the power of 2. So, which shows that 16 here equals 16. The left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So, which is also proved right. And the last one, which is a equals to 0, by putting it here, we have 0 raised to the power square root of 0 equals square root of 0 raised to the power 0. And here, so we have 0 raised to the power 0 equals to 0 raised to the power of 0 here. But does this one have any basis? So I don't think so. So which means we are going to neglect this at a equals to 0, and that's all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.